just just fill me in on your your contacts with them from whatever year you you'd like to start at because I don't know exactly when the two of you uh, uh, started interacting. Okay. Well, you know, of course, my first contact with Joe was back in 1947 as a player, and uh, that was the first time that I ever was close to Joe. And, uh, and of course, in those days, he was Mr. Yankee. I mean, everybody looked up to him, and I was almost as sort of as all being a rookie. And uh, he had a great year in '47. Of course, we won the ten and beat Brooklyn in the World Series. Joe was a fellow that uh, the whole club looked up to and, and uh, without a doubt was our leader. I can always remember him coming. He was very early to the ballpark every day and he'd come into the clubhouse. I can remember uh, she and uh, uh, the guy, the clubhouse man, would always bring him a cup of coffee the minute he come in and he'd go over and sit in his locker in front of his locker and drink his coffee. And uh, he, of course, he just a great ball player, and I remember, you know, the things he did on the field more than anything. I mean, he uh, not only a great hitter, he was a great base runner. And uh, the things that he could do on the bases were really, you don't see that often anymore. I mean, he could stretch his single into a double when the game was close. Uh, he could watch those outfielders, how they fielded the ball, where they were playing him, and he just had the knack of always being safe. And the same thing was true. Uh, going from first to third when you need, they needed a man on third with one out. And he could do all those things. And of course, he was a, a guy that, uh, you know, you just looked up to. He, he was as well as well-dressed. In those days, you had to be well-dressed when you were with the Yankees. And he, was, he was a guy you looked up to in every way. And of course, then I was with him and on through my career with the Yankees. I guess, when did he retire back in? 51, I believe, wasn't it? Well, I guess it was. That's right. And uh, then the next uh, time that I really was in contact with Joe, except possibly at some old timer games or later, my first year as manager in 1961, uh, when I replaced Casey, I, of course, there was a lot of publicity going on about a young man coming in to replace Casey, and Joe agreed to come to spring training with me and, uh, and be a, like a spring training coach. So uh, that, that's my relationship with Joe, and all my thoughts about Joe were just, just great things. Sure. Okay. 